So I'm going to start this video out with a warning, I guess, disclaimer, I don't know. Um, I strongly recommend against what I'm doing here. This uh, it's not a very safe thing to do. So yeah, definitely don't take one of these apart ever. Don't even think about it. Um, especially one that has been plugged in recently, which is, uh, oh no, my case. But uh, yeah, just don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, me, I'm kind of crazy, and I've tore apart quite a few microwaves uh, in my recycling world. Luckily, haven't gotten hurt. Uh, hopefully, that doesn't change, but yeah, don't do it. <laughs> um, anyways, now that I've uh, killed this video, <laughs> um, this is the microwave I use in my office, and it just died as of recording this. I put food in it, hit the start button, and uh, heard uh, basically a high vo voltage noise, and then this, everything went dead. So, kind of curious to see what failed. I'm guessing it's not going to be visually apparent. Um, I'm going to speculate that maybe something shorted out inside of the magnetron. But, there's only one way to find out. Now, one thing you'll notice about this microwave is it has this fancy little uh, right angle um, it's been too long since I've done electrical work. Uh, I believe it's a Romex clamp for a right angle. And it has a power cord that does not suck. <laughs> and that's because the previous owner needed a longer cord. And they were electrically inclined. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they put a longer cord on it, which I'm not complaining about because it just means more scrap metal for me once this gets recycled. So, this has been modified, if you can call it that. Luckily, for uh, safety reasons, they put Torx, uh, these are T20 security screws to prevent people from getting in here that don't belong. Set these down. Generally speaking, there's not really any good reason why you should have to take the microwave apart, take the cover off. Now what I'm going to do is carefully take this top off without slicing my fingers open the sharp edges that aren't deburred, while also avoiding touching anything electrical on the inside. So luckily when this did fail, I wasn't touching any metal, so whatever happened, it didn't have a chance to shock me if it could have. And there's the inside of this particular microwave. They're pretty much all going to look the same. Um, really, the major differences between at least these older microwaves is the amount of circuitry they have on this end. Otherwise, you still have the same transformer, capacitor, and all that. Now, luckily, there is... Um, way to discharge the capacitor it's i believe that's a diode it might be a resistor i'm not sure but there's that little round cylinder right there um which goes to the frame which is grounded assuming this has been wired correctly of course <laughs> yeah they they grounded it to the frame Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to see anything visually obvious, though. Let's uh, take this off the tripod. I think something shorted out internally is going to be my prediction. There's no external charring of any kind. That's just a, uh, whoops, weld mark 
um, from when they were welding the transformer together. So, yeah, somewhat uneventful. I think while I have this open, though, I will check the fuse. But the sound it made was not a fuse sound. It was definitely um, a high voltage sound because of the frequency of it. But I'm going to go grab a multimeter real quick and see if the fuse is any good. Alright, well, I got my multimeter now. And this is basically about the end of the extent that I'm whoops, willing to go to uh, check this and diagnose it. Alright, and it's in continuity mode right now. We're just going to check this fuse. That's interesting. The fuse is blown. Um, question is, do I have the right fuse? Um, I also wish there was a way I could check this for voltage. Let's see here. This is power in, obviously, right here. And it goes through all this. I'm going to assume that there should be a path to the voltage there. I would check the capacitor for voltage, but I do not know how many volts actually goes through that capacitor. And I don't want to find out. <laughs> so. Maybe I should check the fuse, or um, not check the fuse, see if I have a replacement fuse. All right, well, I got the fuse out, and uh, maybe the sound I heard was actually the fuse failing. And the fuse has some scorch marks on it, and then there's a little bead of uh, probably solder that uh, shouldn't be there. Problem is, I can't read what this is. It looks like it's a 20 amp, 250 volt. But I'm going to have to consult the manual and see what it actually is, just to make sure. Because you never know, someone could have replaced this with the wrong value. <laughs> Alright, well, found another fuse that's similar in uh, rating and design. I'm assuming that these ones with the white coating on the, for the, or the white material for the cylinder, there's probably a reason for it. So, I found some other 20 up ones, but, um... Oops, wrong word. They looked different, so I found the one that was closest visually. And it's good. Ah, so I'm going to put this in here. And um, I guess hope for the best. Poke it in there with my wrench. There we go. Old fuse can go in the recycling bin. But uh, yeah, I guess. We'll put the cover back on and see what happens. Alright, well, I got a glass of water here. Microwave's still unplugged. But, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Did I just, uh, turn the video into something else that it wasn't intended to be? Or is it going to catastrophically fail again? So the power's on again, which it wasn't doing before. I had to hit clear to get rid of that. And, uh,. Let's see if it microwaves water. Huh. All right, well, um, that was unexpected. I didn't think the microwave was gonna be fixable. I just figured it was uh, done for. But uh, yeah, um, Either way, still stands. I don't recommend you opening up your microwave. I did take a certain amount of risk doing this. Um, granted, everything in life is a risk. But, uh, yeah. For, for some reason, I was uh, hoping for a big charred mess inside of there. But, uh, yeah, a simple fuse replacement and my microwave works again. I guess, um, I don't know what to say. Woohoo! <laughs> we'll need to wipe it off. It's a little dirty from uh, collecting dust. But uh, either way, hopefully that was uh, interesting. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching.